Hello there everyone, I'm of course John Doe right here in Tokyo, Japan. Now I took a little break from uploading. A couple of uploads I kind of gave up on because I wanted to take time off. But now I'm back trying to do regular uploads again. Now I want to talk about something that happened fairly recently here in the news. It's what they call a landmark uh, resolution or, or solution to the whole sex slave issue involving South Korea and Japan. If you don't know about this, a little bit of backstory is that um, during World War II, the Imperial Japanese Army had sex, forced sex slaves, and a lot of them were from South Korea. Other countries as well, but South Korea a lot. And it's been an ongoing issue for many years. Now I look at this as, this is nothing more than history repeating itself. This is the second time that Japan and South Korea some, have come to some type of um, resolution uh, involving this issue. The first time was when they normalized relations. Uh, Japan gave its apology and gave the, the government of South Korea at the time was controlled by a military dictator. Ironically enough, the current president, president of South Korea is his daughter. But I digress. And they set up a bunch of money, the South Korean government. The South Korean government squandered the money. The women the survivors of the sex slave uh, practice never really benefited from it much at all. It's been an ongoing issue ever since. And recently, the past couple of years, it's become very heated and very contested because there's been a lot of advocacy groups pushing Japan to finally do something real substantial with it. Well, as a way to benefit politically, both uh, the President of South Korea and the Prime Minister here in Japan have come to this resolution with the same exact thing as the first time. Japan made this big apology a bit stronger apology, as they say, and agree to put uh, millions and millions of yen into a fund with the South Korean government's going to control to provide care and other necess necessities for the women who, the surviving women of this. Exact same thing happened. Nothing real has changed. It hasn't really been resolved. It's just a way for Japan to put this behind them and kind of sweep this, sweep this under the rug without really dealing with it and a way for South Korea, uh, the leader of South Korea, to say, look, I'm taking care of this problem, you know, support our party, and all that. But what would be a real solution to the, to the issue? What would, would be a real solution is if um, Prime Minister of Japan would face the women directly, give a direct apology to their face. And instead of giving the money to the South Korean government, which has a history of squandering that money and not even benefiting the women who are supposed to get it, Give it to the women directly, from Japan to them, and say a sorry, an apology directly to their face. That would really resolve it. And also in Japanese textbooks, in Japanese history books, they're very honest and frank about this history. Instead of ed editing it out and pretending it never happened, and try to pay some honor and respect to these women for the things that were done to them. But I want to hear what you think about this in the comment box below. First time you see me, please subscribe. Lots of vids like this, plus other things from time to time. Till next time, this is me, John Doe in Tokyo. Check it out.